we came home to restock on stuff as we do periodically and to check on the house and the farm and stuff and I went and checked on the garden that we have and this is what I found in there these are tomato hornworms I have never seen so many in my life I picked all of these off by hand it's a crazy amount We've got cherry tomatoes, some of which are ripe. We always get a few tomato hornworms. Here's one right here, a little one right there. We always get a few, but this is by far the most I've ever seen. My hand is all stained from the, the juice. Here's a big one on a pepper plant. You can see he even ate a pepper. Since we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and pick what veggies we have ready so we can take it back with us and have some fresh stuff. There's another one right there. There's another one over here. He hasn't gotten much on this plant yet, but he would have. They have this horn thing on what's actually their tail I think they use that to fend off predators, but also to kind of disguise which end is their head or tail. The mouth is up here next to all their little front feet. And then all these back ones are suction. You can see how he sticks to my finger right away. These back feet are all like suction and they very quickly stick to anything. These things are kind of cool in their own way. They're, I'd say they're pretty, uh, but man, are they destructive pests. They can strip a whole branch of a tomato plant clear real fast. They've got some pretty cool colorations on them. You see how on their feet there's those real light greens and then darker. And they've got these white stripes on the back. Like this, they really stand out. But if they're on a plant, they're hard to see. Except that they're whenever they get big, they're a big fat blob on a skinny stick. All of these lines and stuff help camouflage them. They've got all these fake eyes on the side to confuse predators so they don't know which ends what and so they have a better chance to escape, I think, like a lot of caterpillars do. Maybe I'll pick a couple green tomatoes for fried green tomatoes. I'm really wanting something fresh. This plant really got ravaged. I already picked several off of it, but I missed this guy down here. They really blend in if you're not looking from just the right angle. I'll pick the cherry tomatoes we have ready too. This year we didn't do a very large garden. Um, we just had some big tomatoes, some cherry tomatoes. These are damaged by the worms. And then we had eggplant and some various types of peppers. I saw another worm down here. Hopefully this fall the house will be done and we can do a larger fall garden so we can grow more stuff. And then next year we're planning to grow a big garden. This year we just had to kind of try to set priorities. It's 1030 at night and I waited for it to be dark because I wanted to try something that my mom told me about. Apparently if you use a black light it allows you to see these uh, tomato hornworms very easily. So we're going to try it out. She actually had picked up a tiny little black light. We're going to use it to try to find these things. And I'm going to shine the black light around and see what we can see. We're going to turn the, the regular flashlight off so it's dark. There's a big one right there. Oh, they really do stand out in the this light. I can see some of them. In fact, there's a big one right there. Big fat one. You can really see how it glows compared to the rest of the tomato plant. I picked a ton off earlier, but 
I knew I missed some. I'm surprised how many I'm seeing around here, though. All right, let's look around and find some more. I see one little one right there. He really glows. This does make it easy to see them. You can just shine the light across here and just see a whole bunch of them. It really does make them stand out. As I shine it down through the row, I can see a whole bunch of them shining back at me. So I'm going to start grabbing these guys off of here and get rid of the ones I can see again. I think this is a pretty neat method to find these. It, it could be really helpful and uh, I would recommend it if you have this problem. Well, it seems like this is a pretty useful tool for finding these. I would recommend that if you have these uh, worms on your tomato plants, get one of these lights and come out at night. It'll help you find them.